The goal of this video is to help you to understand the difference between a server-side programming language like PHP and ASP and JSP and ColdFusion, for instance, versus a client-side programming language like JavaScript. Client-side refers to your home computers. Programming languages that run on your computers, like JavaScript, for instance, if you write JavaScript in a, for a web page, the JavaScript engine actually operates in your own computer. Whereas with a server-side language like PHP, the engine actually operates on the server. Let me walk you through the process of when somebody's surfing the web and they hit a website. And I'm going to show you how it works in terms of the relationship between your computer and the server and how things are processed. I think you have a much better understanding of what I'm talking about once this is done. So let's say this is your own computer and you come to killersites.com and you click a link that takes you to shoppingcart.php. When you click that link, that's what the nerds would say. They would call it rather making a request to the server. Basically, you're, when you click on a link, the browser shoots a message to the server, the web server, and says, send me the page called shoppingcart.php. Now, the web server is smart enough to know that since the page you requested has a .php extension, instead of a .html or a .asp, it knows that this is a PHP page and it should be sent to the PHP engine for processing. So what happens, the server passes, says, okay, take the shoppingcart.php, process the code in your engine, and waits for the PHP engine to finish processing it and send back the response, the results of the processing to the server, and then the server just sends back the response back to the home computer. So what do I mean by the PHP engine processing the shoppingcart.php page? As you probably are aware, all your PHP code, all your PHP programming will go inside of PHP pages. The difference between a normal PHP page and a normal HTML page is that there's PHP code in there. There's basically PHP instructions in the page that tells the server or the PHP engine what to do, for instance, a process a form or connect to a database, send an email, etc., etc. So the PHP engine understands and can read PHP code. And that's why the server sends a PHP page to the PHP engine so the PHP engine can interpret, read, and then send back the results of whatever instructions you wrote in the PHP page. It wouldn't send a PHP page to the ASP engine, assuming there was an ASP engine on the same server, which could happen, because the, P the ASP engine would not understand any, any of the PHP code. The server knows wh where to send the page to by this extension name. So if it receives a request for an ASP page, it will send it to the ASP en engine, and the engine will do its processing, spit back the results, and, and the computer gets it. When I talk about engines, whether it be PHP or ASP or, or ColdFusion or any other server-side language, what these are really are just programs. The PHP engine is a PHP program that reads and understands and processes PHP code. The ASP engine is the same thing. It reads and understands ASP code, processes it, and sends it back to the server. So what does it send back? What are these engines? What, are these, what does the PHP engine send back to the server? Typically, it sends back just straightforward raw HTML code. At no time does the home computer see or process any PHP code. That's the main distinction. A server-side language is all processed on the server. On the flip side, you have client-side languages like JavaScript. Now, when we're talking about the client, we're talking about the home computers. Client-side language, languages actually run in the client. In this case, because we're talking about web programming, if you write a little JavaScript, the JavaScript actually gets processed on your own computer, not on the server. That's why when you pop open a PHP page, for instance, you don't see no PHP code, but if you pop open a HTML page with JavaScript in it, you will see the JavaScript code because the code is actually processed on your own computer. To recap, server-side languages, the work is being done on the server, whereas a client-side language like J JavaScript, the work is being done on the client computer, and in our case, the web browser. 
I'm just going to put this couple of bullet points for you guys to see and we'll fade out with this. This is an important distinction because down the road this understanding between the server side language and where it runs and the client side language languages and where it runs where they run rather is going to have an impact on how you understand and build your dynamic websites. To drive the point home in how the PHP engine processes PHP code and then spits out just straight HTML, I want to show you something. We look here, I'm at the killersites.com blog, and this blog is actually made with PHP. This is a uh, WordPress. I'm going to look at the source code using Firefox. I'm going to go view page source. And we look at the source code. I assume you guys are uh, experienced HTML guys. You notice in the source code, we just see straight HTML and some CSS code in here. There's actually no PHP. Now consider how long this page is, right? So let's actually look at the PHP code that was used to generate this. So here's the code. Here's the page. It's, uh, it's called single.php. It's a WordPress page. And as you can see, the code is pretty short. This is all the code. Now there's a lot of complex PHP going on here and uh, I'm not expecting you to understand this now. The only point I wanted to make, you notice all these PHP tags here, all this PHP. So this PHP code is read by the PHP engine, processed, and it spits out all this HTML here, all this text.